What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on learning some advanced vocabulary, specifically 10 C1 and C2 phrases. They're going to help you expand your vocabulary and prepare your CAE and CPE exams. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off! So first we're going to look at five C1 phrases and then in the second part of the lesson we're going to learn five C2 expressions. The first C1 phrase on my list today is a fine line. A fine line. It means that we've got two things. One thing is acceptable and the other one is not. And it's very difficult to distinguish them. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, there is a fine line between being a hard worker and perfectionist. There is a fine line between being a hard worker and perfectionist. And one more example, it's sometimes a fine line between adventure and recklessness. It's sometimes a fine line between adventure and recklessness. Okay, let's move on to our second phrase, which is by no means, or we can also say not by any means. By no means or not by any means. It means not at all and it's used to emphasize a negative statement. And now two examples. The first one, it's by no means clear when everything will be back to normal. It's by no means clear when everything will be back to normal. And the second example, the exam wasn't by any means easy, but I think I'll pass it. The exam wasn't by any means easy, but I think I'll pass it. Let's continue our phrase number three is in the light of something, which is British, or in light of something American, without the article. So, in the light of something or in light of something. This phrase means because of or as a result of a particular fact. And now, some examples. The first one, in light of the pandemic, the aviation industry took a hit. In light of the pandemic, the aviation industry took a hit. And one more example, in the light of your remarkable performance, we want you to lead the upcoming mission. In the light of your remarkable performance, we want you to lead the upcoming mission. Let's continue our phrase number four is on the horizon. On the horizon. It means likely to happen or exist soon. And now a few examples. The first one, there is a coronavirus vaccine on the horizon. There is a coronavirus vaccine on the horizon. And one more example, your promotions on the horizon. Your promotions on the horizon. Let's move on to our expression number five, which is nothing of the sort, or we can also say nothing of the kind. Nothing of the sort or nothing of the kind. We use this phrase in different situations. The first one, we can use it when we want to say angrily that something is not true. An example sentence, I thought the hotel would be lovely, but it was nothing of the sort. I thought the hotel would be lovely, but it was nothing of the sort. The second situation when we can use this phrase is when we want to say that someone shouldn't do something. An example sentence, I'm going to order dinner 
at McDonald's. You'll do nothing of the kind. You are on a diet. I'm going to order dinner at McDonald's. You'll do nothing of the kind. You are on a diet. And one more situation. We can use this phrase to emphasize a negative statement. An example sentence. I did nothing of the kind. I did nothing of the kind. And guys, before we continue with C2 phrases, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and your notification is turned on. Thank you. And now we're going to look at five C2 phrases. Number six, as a poster. As a poster. It means rather than or instead of. And now two examples. The first one, I prefer to focus on swimming and yoga as opposed to running. I prefer to focus on swimming and yoga as opposed to running. And the second example, now students do a lot of group projects as opposed to working on their own. Now students do a lot of group projects as opposed to working on their own. Let's continue our phrase number seven is at the expense of somebody, or we can also say at somebody's expense. So at the expense of somebody or at somebody's expense. It means to make another person feel silly, embarrassed or be at a disadvantage. The first example, I told him off for laughing at her expense. I told him off for laughing at her expense. And one more example, he took credit for all the work at the expense of his colleagues. He took credit for all the work at the expense of his colleagues. And we can also say at the expense of something. If we do one thing at the expense of another, it means that doing the first thing harms the second one. The first example, he doesn't want a promotion at the expense of his health. He doesn't want a promotion at the expense of his health. And another example, the new law will benefit multinational companies at the expense of local businesses. The new law will benefit multinational companies at the expense of local businesses. Let's move on to our phrase number eight, which is for all intents and purposes, American with the preposition for, or to all intents and purposes, British. So for all intents and purposes or to all intents and purposes. So we can use this phrase to say, generally speaking, generally, but not always the case. The first example, for all intents and purposes, air travel is the safest form of transport. For all intents and purposes, air travel is the safest form of transport. It means that it's usually true, but there might be an exception. And one more example, to all intents and purposes, Spain is warmer than France. To all intents and purposes, Spain is warmer than France. And we can also use this phrase to summarize a fact or completion of something. The first one, for all intents and purposes, the project is completed. For all intents and purposes, the project is completed. And the second example, to all intents and purposes, the deal is closed. To all intents and purposes, the deal is closed. To more to go, number nine, line of reasoning, thinking or thought. Line of reasoning, thinking or thought. You can use any. It means a way of thinking about a particular subject. The first example, sorry, I can't agree with your line of thinking. Sorry, I can't agree with your line of thinking. And one more example, I find your line of reasoning 
rather disturbing. I find your line of reasoning rather disturbing. And last but not least, nothing of note. Nothing of note. It means nothing important or significant. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, there is nothing of note to report. There is nothing of note to report. And the last example, there was nothing of note in the meeting. There was nothing of note in the meeting. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. If you want to learn more C1 and C2 phrases, check out the previous edition right here. And of course, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up. And if you find my channel valuable, please subscribe and share it with your friends. With that being said, thank you for watching this English bit and see you next week. Ciao for now!